guys. Welcome back to Ordinary Adam. I have a big morning today. Um, I have been working on increasing my, uh, my running speed at the 5K pace, which is 3.1 miles. And I am halfway through um, a Hal Higdon, if you're familiar with the, those programs, um, eight week course um, for increasing uh, 5K pace. You little pumpkin pie hair cutted freak. And so today, being halfway through, what the schedule calls for is a test. So you go out and you run 5K as fast as you can. Unfortunately, there's no 5Ks taking place right now because of coronavirus. I think we're real close to, to this opening back up, but not there quite yet. And so my lovely wife, Jess, is going to come with me and uh, record a little bit and just help keep me motivated as I go out and uh, as I do this. So my, my goal in doing this is uh, to try and beat my 5K, uh, my best 5K time from when I was in high school running cross country. Uh, I'm not a super fast runner, but my best time in high school was a 1951, um, 19 minutes, 51 seconds. And so I'm trying to get back to that. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna hit that today. Uh, that's right around a 620 or a 625 per minute pace. And um, I think I'm hoping to run between right around a 635 pace today, maybe even a touch slower, but I'm hoping by the end of this year, uh, maybe I have to go through a couple couple eight week cycles in order to get to uh, get my pace down, drop a little bit more weight, work on keeping my legs strong um, in order to hit that. But I think it's very doable this year. Turned 40 this year, so this is just a goal of mine to uh, see if I can get back to that high school um, that high school pace. All right, let's get at it. Beginning of the run, take two. All right, we're out here in Lowell um, with my wife Jess, and uh, we're just ready to get started. Uh, this is a Oh, that traffic is bad, sorry about that. Um, this is the, uh, it's a 3.1 mile course that I've run a number of different times. And uh, so just a good spot for me to know how I'm doing from a speed perspective. It's fairly flat. Uh, today's a beautiful day. It's a little bit windy, which is uh, not great, but it's actually a, um, a wind coming from the front for the first little bit, which if I had to have it, that was when I'm least tired, that would be great. Uh, temperature is great. It's in the, I think it's probably in the mid 60s or a little bit lower right now even. So perfect for, uh, perfect for running weather. Um, got my music, did my uh, pre-run pee, caffeinated, had a good, good couple rest days before this. So I think we're ready to go and see, uh, see how I... By the way, do you know who's awesome? My wife. She got up early, she drove around town trying to record some goofball running around. So I'll be honest, one thing that I struggle with is trying to do too many things all at the same time. I love starting projects, setting goals, and trying new things. This is after all the whole point of this channel. I am energized by pushing my limits and experiencing life around me. I live by the motto, bite off more than you can chew, and then chew it. Sometimes however, even I have to admit, that it can be counterproductive. Case in point here with my running. I have been super disciplined and running consistently for several weeks now. I'm feeling stronger and I'm getting faster. But my weights are growing cobwebs. I am avoiding sit-ups like the plague. And my evenings usually include shoveling as many processed carbs into my face as possible. So what do we do? Should we give up, cut back, 
do less, stop trying? Certainly not. I know for me it means focusing my goals and continuing to build the discipline to do things even when they are not fun and I don't feel like doing them. Knowing that I will be happier tomorrow if I push myself today. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes today. I hope this will motivate you even just a tiny bit to try something new, push your limits, take a risk, and experience life all around you. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to follow along with whatever adventure comes along next. How do you feel? Terrible. 2102 time. Final pace 646 per mile. There you go. Oh my gosh.